Hello and welcome back to Future Hits Jams. Today we're going to do a song called Busy Weekend and we will do the song twice for a twofer. A Future Hits twofer is when we sing a song two times. The first time we talk about it, get to know the song, and the second time after we've learned it, we'll sing it once right through. So this song today is called Busy Weekend. It's a jaunty little number. It's really upbeat and it's a fun way to practice our singing, reading, and also our comprehension or our understanding of a song by using our body to kind of act some of the song's lyrics. So I'll show you how it goes. So the first lyrics are on the weekend. And can you repeat after me when I go on the weekend? We're so busy. First we go to piano lessons. Wonderful. And in the part of the song when it says to piano lessons, can you play the piano? Excellent. Show your hands like you're twink tinkling the old ivories there. Yeah, there we go. I actually Googled recently. It's not twinkling the ivories. It's tinkling the ivories. That's an expression. A figure of speech means playing piano because the keys used to be made of ivory back in the day, I guess. And then we go like this. It was a bop, bop, bop. Busy weekend, busy weekend. Yeah, it's a repeat. So let's try it from the top. That's the beginning in a song. So I'll go like this. On the weekend, we're so busy. First we go to piano lessons, to piano lessons. I heard you repeating all that. It was a ba ba ba. Try a little more repeat. On the weekend, on the weekend, we're so busy. After piano, after piano, and so you hear the word piano again, and then you can tinkle those ivories or play the piano. Good. We go to karate. Excellent. And when we go to karate, you can strike a pose. And if no one's near you and you know karate, you can show us a move or two. Let's try that verse again. Remember, I sing, you sing, and when we discuss or sing the activities in the song, piano, karate, you can use your body to show us what those words mean or how you interpret that. On the weekend, we're so busy. After piano, we go to karate. And then the chorus, it was a bop, bop, bop. in a song is a part that repeats oftentimes it has the title of the song in the chorus not always the song it does on the weekend we're so busy after karate we play with a million toys and throw those toys in the air or whatever you want to do however you want to demonstrate toy playing let's try that verse again one a two I sing, you sing. On the weekend, we're so busy. After karate, after karate, we play with a million toys. Play with a million toys. Chorus. It was a bop, bop, bop. Busy weekend. On the weekend, we're so busy. We play with a million toys. I'm playing with my toys. We bake some cookies. How would I show baking cookies? It's a very relevant activity, actually. Maybe I would stir the batter. I'd have a big wooden spoon, and I'd stir the batter. Then I'd put the cookies in the oven, or I'd shape them, and then put them on the tray. Okay, let's try that little verse again. Here we go. A one, a two. A I sing, you sing. On the weekend. We're so busy. After we play with a million toys, I'm playing with toys. We bake some cookies. We bake some cookies. And this verse is a little different because then it goes, Then on Monday, we bring our cookies. And then you can put those cookies in tow, carry them, to our drum lesson. 
with Mr. Nick. Who is Mr. Nick? Good question. Nick is the drummer in the band Future Hits, which is the band that plays these songs in concerts. So let's try that little verse again. Then on Monday, we bring our cookies to our drum lesson with Mr. Nick. Good, and you could be bringing those cookies, playing the drums, showing us that you understand what these words mean. Now I show you a slide of a whole bunch of cookies that you might have baked for drummer Mr. Nick. And they're lovely cookies. We've got sprinkle cookies. We've got emoji cookies. We've got chocolate cookies with M&Ms, mini M&Ms that is. We've got an ice cream sandwich. We've got oatmeal raisin cookies. And then I think those are thumbprints, those peanut butter cookies with the Hershey's Kisses. They all look lovely and delicious. What's your favorite? Okay, yeah, mine are the emojis too. After drummer or Mr. Nick eats all those cookies, how might his tummy feel? Yeah, he might be enjoying himself for a little while because the cookies were so yummy, but after maybe a half hour, if he ate all those, how would his tummy feel? How would his stomach feel from eating all those cookies? Right. Sick. So we're going to go like this. It was a six. It was a six, six, sick. It was a six, six, sick. Good. It was a six, six, sick. I can hear you. It was a six, six, sick. Monday for Mr. Nick. And why was it a sick Monday for him? Because when do we bake the cookies? During the weekend. And what days of the week are the weekend? Saturday and Sunday. And Monday comes after. That's a whole other song. Now we're going to sing Busy Weekend. This is a call and response song or an echo song, meaning I'll sing a verse and then you repeat what I say. You can also show the hand movements or act out what the song is describing. You ready? Here we go. Busy weekend. A one, a two, a one, two. cookies. Thanks for singing and dancing and being an actor, showing us you know what that song means. Anyway, until next time, stay well and tell your loved ones you love them. Bye-bye.